are on a mission. Home is at the end of this road today. About four, four and a half hours away. Well, from where I gotta bring the trailer anyway. And we're going home. I'm excited for that part, but the other part is this truck has gotta go and uh, get looked at again, but gotta make sure this thing stays running well. I mean, if you don't catch them early, if you don't catch the problems early, they turn into huge, very expensive problems very quick. Hi. COVID-19 information for you. Okay. Yeah. That all? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Straight out. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. So this is what they handed me. COVID-19 novel coronavirus traveler's information. On March 20th, 2020, Manitoba declared a province-wide state of emergency to address the COVID-19 pandemic under the authority of the Emergency Measures Act and issued public health orders that are in place. For more information on the state of emergency and how to protect yourself and others, visit manitoba.ca slash COVID-19. And you are advised to self-isolate and self-monitor for symptoms for 14 days upon arriving in Manitoba. Let's say, uh, this does not include workers involved with commercial transportation of goods and services. They're talking about me. Workers who live in a neighboring jurisdiction and travel to Manitoba, healthcare workers who travel to work from outside the province, normal personal travel in border communities, including visits to a cottage. Okay, so this is just telling you, hey, if you don't have a good reason why you're coming into the province, you're gonna have to self-isolate for 14 days. Not 13, 14 days. Stay home, people. I'm glad they're doing this. I'm glad they're doing this because for some reason still, somehow, some way, there are still people on this planet that have no idea what's going on. I've met a few of them. They were in the US. Down around, when I was down around Chicago there, I was talking to a few people and they had no idea what was going on. I don't know if they were lying to me, but it seemed like they were honestly like, oh, really? Because they were standing like really close to like to each other. And then I was like, oh, I guess they, I mean, like I made some kind of comment about, you know, friendly comment, like, wow, the social distancing measures are a little different here. They're like, what are you talking about? Social distancing. I was like, oh, because of the, you know, the virus going around, you no know, governments are asking that we stay about six feet apart. And they're like, what? They hadn't heard of it. Oh dear, oh dear. So I'm glad that they're passing these things out at the border because if you come to Manitoba, you're gonna have to self-isolate. Now is not the time to travel. I mean, it's risky for me being out here already, but if you don't have a good reason to take that risk, it's best to just stay in your local local area, just in case, you never know, you never know. All right, let's go, let's go, I wanna go home. I'm feeling fine, by the way, feeling great. Here goes some more military. It's the fourth truck I've seen just in the last few miles. So, so I've seen about a half dozen trucks just today in the first hour of driving already. So much military being moved out east. You'll get, you, you might have answered in my comment section yesterday already because I was talking about it yesterday. You guys know what's going on? Why are they all going east? Is there any coming back west or what? Are you just leaving us defenseless out here or what? Gotta fend for ourselves. If possible, amen. Turn right into 100 meters. Here in Headingley, Manitoba, just gonna grab some fuel before we head home. Now, gasoline is 66.9 a liter, but diesel fuel is a dollar ten per liter. That's almost twice as much. What's up with that? That doesn't seem right. 
That that doesn't seem right. If you can afford to put gasoline down to 66.9, why do you need to keep our fuel up twice as high? It really feels like they're just taking advantage of truckers then. Proceed to the highlighted route. I don't see any highlighted road. I see fuel. One last fuel. So at least the shop has full tanks to work with. I mean, they're not they don't need to drain the tanks or anything, so they're going to need to test drive this truck, though. Figure out what's going on. Jeez, yo, everybody missed you. Jeez, you weasel. Chevy. Wiener, you got to stay here. Wiener, can you stay inside? I'm going to take the big guys. We're going to go on a little walk around the yard. Look at this, Chevy. We have our yard back. See. Chevy, come on. Where's your stick? Go. Oh, is there that your is. stick? Get it. Is that your stick? Get it, Chev. This is it right here. This is my stick. I'm the branch manager. Diesel's my assistant branch manager. He's not very good at it. Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on. Oh. It gets kind of snowy down that trail, so I don't know if I can go in runners, and you've got slip-ons. Well, it'll be all right. Hey, it'll be all right. This is our first walk through the trails this season. The snow has just melted. Well, it's yours. Well, my, oh, you guys have probably gone while I've been on the road. A few times. A few times, of course. stuck here. <laughs> it's a consequence of being on the road. I am I miss all the, I miss all the firsts. Where's Diesel? Diesel, come on. Come on, let's go down the trail, man. Look at all the new life coming up. I love spring. That baby tree right there. Baby tree there. Got a little toddler tree here. Little scraggles. Little scraggles. Oh. I love spring. Remember last spring? Uh, we transplanted a few trees and stuff. We'll show you them maybe a little later or maybe tomorrow. But, oh, we love spring. Just all the new life coming up. Just walking through here. Look at all these little baby trees. Look at these guys. All these guys are going to be that big one day. Listen. Listen. Can you hear it? The sounds of spring. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Nature. You know, we hibernate for the winter and uh, us Canadians, we come out around this time of year and it's so exciting. I'm not gonna lie, it's so exciting. A lot more snow on this side. Britt warned me about it. This is where our new trail is gonna go down over here. That's too deep to go down and check out right now. Oh yeah, look at this, it's pretty deep here. Oh, oh, got snow in my shoe. Oh, dang it. Ah, well, we're, getting, we're going for it. We're already committed, we're this far. Why was there no snow on that side and there's so much snow on this side? What? Chevy. Diesel, I see you over there. I see you. You see him? Hey boys, hey boys, come here, come here. A wild Chevy in his natural habitat. And a wild weasel, man. A lord weasel, this is my realm. A lord of the weasels. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on bud. Britt went the other way where there wasn't so much snow. Oh, it clears up over here. Don't worry. Don't worry, right, Diesel? Right, Diesel? I missed you, bud. I missed you, man. That's crazy. Oh, see here? All the snow goes away here. Oh, much better. So, this spring, or actually the next couple of days, I'm going to be working on cleaning this up as much as I can. I'm not going to be able to clean it all up. Because that's going to take a long time, but I want to get as much of this tinder out of here as I can. Like it's, it's like a tinder box. That's why I call it tinder. All these trees that have fallen over. It's almost like they were piled here purposely. 
by previous owners. I want to get it out of here before all the grass grows and you know, sort of swallows it up again. It's much harder to do it during the summer. Diesel. Come on, bud. So apparently uh, there's a hornet's nest around here somewhere. Where? Underneath a log. There's a lot of logs. Yep. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. So uh, during the summer months, we have a lot of blueberries and stuff that grow out here naturally. And Britt likes to come out here and pick them. And apparently she got attacked by a swarm of hornets more than once. Even Frankie, uh, wiener Frankie, he got stung a couple of times. Yeah, so somewhere around here, there's a bunch of hornets sleeping. And this year, me and you, we're going to find them and destroy them. What are you doing? <laughs> She's just been standing here staring at this tree. It's a great tree. It's a great tree. It's got great feelings about it. I think it's going to do a lot of things in its lifetime. <laughs> it's a good tree. It's decorated for Christmas. It's a perfect Christmas tree. It is. It's too bad. We could get rid of all these deadish ones. No, they're still living. They're just ugly trees. Yeah. I don't like these trees very much. What do they call again? Jack pines? Uh, yes, I believe so. Jack pines. So they stay green all year, but they're not really very good looking or are trees. They northern pines. I can't remember. Northern pines, jack pines. They're very similar anyway. Yeah. I like this one. Very nice tree. I was testing it for ornament weight earlier. <laughs> I was like, could it take some of my... No, not a perfect Christmas tree, but I probably wouldn't cut it down anyway. No, I don't want to cut it down. I'm thinking decorating it out here. All by himself. Not many ornaments. Plastic, all plastic. You know, light them up and have like an extension cord all the way out there. Light them up. One little bush in the tree. Hi, Diesel. He likes this idea. We are uh, huge Christmas fans, so I know it's just spring, but we're already thinking about Diesel, Christmas next it. year. Don't pee on it. Don't pee on it, Diesel. Diesel don't do special it. Sacred tree. Sacred tree. You don't pee on the sacred tree. I just had to move that guy. He was leaning on him. I was like, that's rude. What? I didn't even buy him dinner first. That's rude. Mm -hmm. It's true. Britt found another one. That's going to be a good tree. I can feel it. I've got good feelings about this one. Yeah. He's got a little friend growing here, though. I see that. I bet you he'll choke him out, though. Are we going to transplant this guy this summer? Uh, I'd rather not. I'd rather take it from spots where it's a little more densely populated. Careful for the deer poop. Lots of deer, deer poop. poop. How dare they? I know, oh, yeah, there's deer poop right there. Look at that. I feel like that might be it. The hornet's nest? Oh, underneath that log there? But it might not be. Everything looks so different. Yeah, because it's springtime. It, it's crazy. Pay attention to this video now, if you're watching this in the future, and then go and watch. We'll come through here at, like multiple times this summer yet. And watch how this fills up. Crazy. Watch how this fills up. It's totally different. Like in wintertime, that's one thing I love about Canada. As much as I, you know, I hate the winter, whatever. It's part of being Canadian. The, the, the one thing I love about living up here is the four seasons. The four distinct seasons. You get winter, spring, summer, fall. And our whole property is completely different in every season. This might be it. So it's like we get a whole new property every season, four times a year. And every year it's different because everything like new grows. Like What's that? That last half of our forest is mm -hmm. completely pink in, is it the end of June, early July? Might be mid-July. Anyways, all roses, all of it. It's like magical. We live in a magical place. I love this country. Not everything about it, I but love I love this. Love I love this little section of it, which has our name on it. <laughs> Just gonna be a good tree. This is gonna be a great tree. I, I think know. we should transplant that this one. Maybe. I think we should move this one to the front somewhere. Yeah. She deserves some more attention. What do you think, I, Chevy? I think it's more. Hey, don't pee on it. I think it's more successful if you move them when they're smaller, though. 
Because then you don't risk breaking their roots off and stuff. That's true. But I don't know. We'll have to I mean, do a my, little bit more research this year than we did last. Will and Sheila, they transplant trees that are like six feet tall. Yeah. Every year, and they're fine. They're those kind of people that they're, are just good at things. Though. They transplant <laughs> trees like this size over here. Like, look at this. This one's taller than me. I guarantee you, Will, if you're watching this right now, you're probably like, yeah, I transplant this tree. Look at this. This one right here. That's a great tree. You know, you just dig up all the roots, you pull it out, you bring it out to the front where people can see it. Decorate it at Christmas time. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. Bippity boppity. Bippity boppity. Alakazam. Alakazam. Exactly. I love spring. There's so much promise for the future in spring, you know, because we have all of spring to look forward to yet. We have all of summer to look forward to and all of fall before next winter. But we don't talk about that time of year. There's Christmas. There's Christmas. And then there's just this blank time. There's about three months of just blank time that I, I have no idea what happens in, the, in that time. But nobody, yeah, I don't think anything actually happens during that time. But the rest of the year, it's fantastic. Oh, there's a whole bunch of nice ones here. Yeah. This is what we do every spring. We just walk through the bush and go, ooh, oh yeah, that's a good tree. That's a good tree right there. I like there. the moss here too. The moss is really cool looking. Mm-hmm. How bright it is. Wow. The miracle of life. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. New life every year. We got diesel right here. We're Chevy. Oh, he's over there. Chevy, you better not be eating deer poop. Oh, I can bet money that he is. Chevy. Chevy, come here. Get it. Come on, Chevy, get it back. Diesel stole his stick. No, Chevy, you don't need to find a new one. You go take it back. Diesel, go get his stick. Chevy, Diesel, you take his stick? Did you take his stick? That's rude, man. That's rude. Where are you going? Where are you going? Well, what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Hey! Oh, Chevy got an even bigger one. Ooh! Ah. He doesn't think I'm gonna take it. Ah. Diesel, come here. Hey, Diesel, look at this. Look what Chevy got. Look what Chevy got. Diesel, come here. I'm working on this stick, man. I'm working on this one. Look, Diesel, look. Diesel. I can't convince you to steal this one. Okay, they're both happy. They both got their own sticks. 